So it's Wednesday and another episode of Q. but before I talk about this impossible spoilers, here's an artist promotion right here. So please be sure to check out all these links in the description box or to find links to this reaction video. And this episode was... <sighs> there was lots of emotions in this, I must say. I really, really enjoyed to see the game between Karazuno and... I don't remember. Was it Aobi? I feel awful because I don't remember the name, but... It still was a very emotional game. And seeing the Karazuno girls team as well... I mean, I, 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 I think it's interesting to see. I mean, it is like that. Losing is never fun. It's very emotional, especially when you've been training so much. You're training and puts all of your soul into it. That, and then losing like that, it's, it's, it's always painful. And uh, hopefully, though, it's that growing and learning from these losses and there is there is always be like that. It will always be like that. That even the greatest teams loses at times. Maybe they don't lose as much as other teams, but they lose as well. And uh, I was gonna say that there is no team that always loses and never wins. But then I just think on Shanghai Dragons in Overwatch that have zero wins and forty losses at this point, and I feel kind of bad for them. Fun fact, that is an eSport record. Well, actually a sport record in general, because there's no team in either any kind of sport or eSport that lost so many times in a row. That's kind of brutal. I, 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 I don't, I'm not jealous. jealous on these guys, definitely not. But still though, seeing all of these characters, seeing how, how they going through, with the losses and all of that. And even if it's emotional now, it's... They will get over it. And hopefully, feeling... Getting more strength out of it to continue training and improve later on. And... Oh man. And I really like... I mean, Daishi have been like this character that... Uh, okay, he's the t team captain. He's there. He's the guy that can be like... Seems so sweet, but also the one that can be so fucking scary and all of that. Scare everyone. And how it he have affected s s people around him like that since he was younger, playing junior and affecting his friends and all that. I think I think that is really interesting because the, while obviously like Hinata is the main face of IQ, so to say, it doesn't solely just focus on him. That every ounce of the show is just about him and how brilliant he is, but rather. He might be the main ant ant uh, antagonist, prota protagonist, and all of that, but he doesn't overshadow the rest of the characters, the rest of the team. And I think that is something incredible, important, because otherwise it have, would, if it was only focused on one character only, pretty much, and just a little bit on the rest, it would pretty much become, you know... A very boring show we focus only on the super talent of this character and scratching all other and here we get to see really we get to see that how Daichi affect people around him a little bit about his background and all of that his his struggles Asahi uh, we get to Kagajama and ah oh man I want to see more of this and I love that I think that makes this a really really super sweet show and I, and I, I love I love the style. I love the the music. I mean, it, it gave me. A, there was lots of feels in this, and after watching a tackle Titan, as I just did before this, when I'm seeing this, the Iron Wall, I'm like, if it's something we have learned, especially from a tackle Titan, is that no wall is safe. It can be quite quite crazy, definitely. But in all in all of all, though. I, I thought it was a very nice and important game that they they really gave everything against this other opponent, this this team, even if they probably were already much weaker. And I think that is something that 
I find I always when I you know when you see a sports team and they're meeting a team that is way weaker than and they like, uh, I would take it easy on them and all. I think that is very uh, disrespectful to do and all of that. Even if it sucks, I mean, uh, for example, I, I watch uh, quite a bit of hockey. I watched a little bit of uh, I missed the uh, World Cup and all of that, but I saw a game where Sweden scored. If it was a couple of years ago or if this year, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember exact date. But they were playing against Norway. And Sweden won with 10-0. And uh, while it's very rough, I mean, I can feel with the Norwegian play as well that, I mean, it's a devastating. When you, as soon as in hockey, when you reach double-digit numbers against you, it's, it's just crazy. But at the same time, I feel like Sweden didn't let go. They they did they, they didn't just drop it and you know like okay we we have a good lead now now we're gonna take now we just take it easy but they kept up just pro and focus because if anything we do know is that especially in sports it doesn't matter what kind of sports or teams if if you let you know like ah, now 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 we take it easy now we don't we drop our seriousness you know now we take it easy. That is an incredible dangerous thing to do because doing that gives the opponent team a chance. Just like we did see here now in, in Haikyuu, that even if they get one point, they didn't win though, but that point they got boosted the morale so much. And that, for example, if um, Sweden, maybe they had 5-0 and it would be like, ah, now we can take it easy. And suddenly Norway might score. That would have made, could be the thing that boosted them to continue making more score and suddenly win. Because there is something that also, uh, you know, I'm I'm rambling lots about hockey, but it's because it's a sport I've been watching quite a lot of. And uh, it's another game that is quite famous here in Sweden, especially. It, it was a game between Sweden and Finland. And when it comes to hockey and rival, rivalry between Finland and Sweden, it is bonkers. It's crazy. It's really heated rivalry between Finland and Sweden and Finland was leading, I think, it was 5-1 to one or 5-2. to two. I mean, in ice hockey, that is a big, big lead. And everyone was expecting, okay, Sweden lost big times against Finland there. However, that game ended 6-5 to five to Sweden. They managed to crawl back up, scoring and winning, winning all the engagements, winning all the fights, winning all the... The pucks and everything like that. And even if Finland didn't let go, maybe they slopped it a little bit in the beginning. Well, it points it because they like, yeah, you know, we got the bigger lead. We, doesn't, we don't need to stress. We have lots of other games to think on. And that's the thing. Because when you start to let goals get in and then you're losing more ground and more ground, then it like, have a very, very, very fast... And I think that is so important and so interesting with Haiku as well that they don't let go of that. Because that is that is, that is definitely a very dangerous thing to do is to belittle your opponents, to not take them serious because if they get a score, if they get a moral power boost from this, it's it's gonna hurt. Ah well, I'm terrible sorry for rambling. I mean what do I know about sports? I just think it's interesting. And yes, I'm sorry for rambling about hockey. But it, it, because it's, it's one sport I do know about. And I was starting to watch a little bit of volleyball, actually. It's fucking awesome, I must say. That's why I love this sports series and all of that. I mean, it was the same when I was watching uh, Kuroko no Basket way back. Started to watch ba basketball. Or Aishi 21. Okay, I read the manga. The, the anime wasn't that good, sadly. But it made me watch... NFL and things like that, you know, American football and things like that. I thought I just think that is just fun. I mean, it's inspiring and all that. Heck, I mean, Juro and I made me watch figure skating, and I thought never I would watch figure skating, but damn, it's pretty cool actually. But well, I will be back though with more Haikyuu next week. I'm sorry for all the wabbling, wabbling, yabbling here. I thank all of you for watching. See you later on. Have a continued super great day. Thank you.